It's Imperial Imperial. No, it's Imperial Indian Pale Ale. It's Imperial with an I. Hey, it's Rain Muffin back with a beer review. And why do I set the can down just to pick it back up? From Sierra Nevada, where it says, family owned, operated, and argued over. And I thought they just sold, I don't know. So we have a 9.1, no, no, 9%. Let me have a hold it out here, I can read it. Big Little IPA, Imperial IPA. And this is again, now it says 1 pint, 3.2 ounces. Now, there are 16 ounces in a pint, for those of you who don't remember. And so this is, again, a 19.2 uh, ounce can. I've got to figure out what that is in milliliters because every freaking can is 19.2. And that is just so strange. I don't know if it's half a milliliter. I, I don't remember the milliliters to ounces conversion um, in my head. I, I probably should have. I probably learned it under Carter's administration in the 70s. Well, wow, it's 128 ounces per gallon, by the way. Um, so we have the Big Little Thing IPA, Imperial, uh, the IP, uh, Imperial IPA. And no, I won't cut any of that out because I just keep going. And that's all it says. Um, so I'm expecting a very big hot presence. Now, this can is a little on the cold side, but that's fine. Oh, grapefruit and grass. My goodness. Oh, look how clear that is. That is beautiful. Nice golden color. And I uh, started pouring a little bit too fast there, but it's fine. I'll let it settle. Look at that. Now, it's hard to see. I can see in the in the video there, it looks darker uh, than it really is. But it is a nice golden color, not so dark. And yes, we have the Hard Rock Cafe Hurricane Glass, which I might now be able to read because I have something on it. Um, one ounce of Bacardi Superior Rum, two ounces of cranberry juice, two ounces of pineapple juice, two ounces of mango juice, half an ounce of grenadine uh, float, so put on top one ounce of Bacardi Dark Rum and one ounce of Amaretto, I still don't know what that says, Disarano, which I have no clue. Garnish with orange and cherry, so there you go. I'm going to have an IPA, oh my goodness. Oh, that is fantastic. It is exactly what I would expect an IPA, an Imperial IPA to be. Everything's cranked up. It's bitter. It's fruity. It tastes, it has, it's like grass and, and fruit. On the nose, the foam is, is exquisite. And the alcohol presence about mid-mouth says, hey, I'm here. There's a slight burn, not much, which is good. So it's fermented slowly. Oh, that is good. That is really good. I mean, if you want it, and I guess this glass isn't big enough. I don't know. I don't know how many ounces this glass actually holds. And I know it's the wrong kind of glass. And I'm the one who quite often talks about and complains about glassware. I don't have any 19.2 anythings. I can have, I got a one liter, you know, glass. Well, Stein means stone. So I don't know what it's, the beer Stein means, beer stone. So I don't know what to call it. That's way too big, I think. That's what she said. As you can see, the head retention is beautiful. Tiny, tiny bubbles. Nice, thick foam. Creamy. Oh, that is that is fantastic. It is exactly what I'd expect. An Imperial, a, we'll say a subtle, because it is very clear. Now some, and it, it's kind of golden color. Some IPAs, even the non-New England variety, are a little cloudy. But, um, yeah, it's like the stone version of this, I'd say, it probably have bitterness and knock your teeth out. But what I like about this is this is kind of like an Imperial IPA that's made the journey, right? It's not fresh before it goes over. It gets loaded on a, on a, in a barrel and puts on a ship in England and then sails all the way to India, which I don't know how many months that would take. Back in the days of sail, before the Suez Canal, you got to go around Africa. Um, and hopefully they don't crash. 
So, but once it's made the journey, this is the result. So you have the fresh, really big IPAs, really overly hopped, alcohol presence, burn, everything. This has got a nice balance to it. For an Imperial, this is very well balanced. It's, like I said, it's like it's made the journey, it's mellowed out, it's ready to be consumed. That is fantastic. And it's 9% and it doesn't feel like it. So it's in some ways a dangerous beer because you could drink this and not, because you don't have that alcohol uh, burn and presence, you're like, hey, and then you get up from the table and go, holy crap. But this is the kind of beer that, especially if it was on draft, if it was in a restaurant, this is what I had steak with. And it's a beer that I'm drinking the whole time, right? Especially uh, when it's a big size. But this is definitely one that, if I was eating something, I would want something lighter. Then I'd have this, I'd get my steak and potato or whatever I'm eating, french fry, whatever. And I'm eating with it, steamed vegetables, whatever, no matter. And I have my last bite and I have my last little sip, or a swig, and I'm done. And they would compliment one another. This is not a beer you have and then go eat. <laughs> so, unless you're just, you know, really young and you can drink a lot of beer. But that is fantastic. I, that is a, I'd say four and a half out of five, nine out of 10. Um, it's just that I've had some slightly better ones and I'm being really persnickety to get that 10 out of 10. But, uh, and I could be convinced to be a 9.75 and leave a little, you know, and if it's this good, if it's available on draft and it's this good to begin with, it's probably an 11 out of 10 on draft. Hmm. That is very good. You guys have done a very good job. And I really need to get some um, Bigfoot again. I haven't, and the Torpedo is pretty good too. But um, it's been a while. I, I, I need to, now that we've moved and settled, I got to find a place. I think that place in, in Boone may have what I need to start. Although most of what they have is in cans and they got a lot of stuff for North Carolina. And it is not cheap. I mean, it's like a can like this over there is like $9. I think this was four or something. It doesn't have a price tag. My brother couldn't exactly remember. I thought he said four fifty, but I don't know for certain. It could be, you know, him pulling numbers out of his, you know what. But they have also, what's interesting is they have a lot of sours. And so I'm wondering if the Boone area, because it's right off of App State campus, and it might be heavily influenced by the college crowd. And so they carry, they, it's, they have wines too. They have a lot more wine than beer, but their beer selection is really good. But it's pretty much, it's all refrigerated. I forget how much, oh, not all of it. It's like three rows of North Carolina. And then there's like three doors. That's the rest of the country. It's, it's crazy. Um, and maybe that was just the time I was there, but I definitely need to go back. I can't even remember the name of it. It's, but it's 45 minutes, so i got to make a reason to go and, uh, and the like. But man, that is good. Wow, that is good. That is definitely a beer that'll sneak up on you. So, what have you tried recently from Sierra Nevada? I know I've reviewed a few things. Uh, what would you like to see me try and get? And I really want to do, uh, if they still do their Bigfoot um, barley wine, I think it's Bigfoot, I need to get back into buying like four bottles or four cans or whatever, having one now and then restart reviewing them. And um, it's been years since I've done that. I used to do it with Stone IRS and Old Guardian. And when we got ready to move, I I went through all of my back inventory and some stuff survived and some stuff didn't. And so now I have El Zippo, but I've got a nice big basement that is cool all the time so I can store it properly, it's time to make that plunge. So let me know what you want to see now and over the next several years, and we'll start acquiring. Thank you very much for stopping by. Thanks so much for subscribing, clicking the bell notification. It really, really helps, and sharing on all your social medias has been a big help. The, tra the channel's growing slowly, but we're growing, and that's awesome. But let me know what you want to see. Thank you very much, and good day.